Hello, good day viewers. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Dr. Teresita Gonzalez, proprietor of the Philippine Global XC Review and Tutorial Center. Let me start this content of my YouTube channel with my slogan. The best investment in life is education. Our topic now is about continuation of how to make an action research. The contents in here are two topics. One is collecting data and the second is uh, how to analyze the data. But before we'll proceed to the content proper, I would like to emphasize something about the framing or making of the title that it is important that it should not be too long nor too short. Limit it only from minimum of 10 to a maximum of 15 substantive words. Example, if you have to write, P, instead of writing PNPA, you spell it out the entire word, Philippine National Police Academy. For this entire spelling out of PNPA, this is only counted as one substantive word. Sometimes the maximum, sometimes the best number of words, substantive words is 13. Now let's proceed to the content proper. First lesson here is about collection of data. What is collection of data? It is the process of gathering and measuring information of the action research of the variables of interest. This can be independent or it can either also be a dependent variable. Variables are items on study of your action research. Data collection is very important because and this data that is gathered, this will serve as the ingredients to reach up to the results of an action research. It enables one to answer stated research questions or the statement of the problem by testing the hypothesis and trying to state the the research questions, answer the research questions, and finally evaluate outcomes. Example, if there is an offering of a new curriculum, for sure there will be observation of the students as well as the teachers as they work with a new curriculum. Now the observation will help determine the curriculum's effectiveness as to whether there is really a very effective offering of a new curriculum. Now let's go to data collection techniques. There are three types of techniques in collecting data, whether it is from a quantitative, a qualitative, or a mixed method. It is com the mixed method is combination of the qualitative as well as the quantitative method. What are the tools in gathering the data in this or the techniques? Tools can be interviews. It can be over the phone or online survey questionnaires. Or this, the questionnaires can be sent through online or web-based techniques. It's because there's no more face-to-face -face in trying to do lectures. These three techniques from relevant sources can answer research problems, test hypothesis, as well as evaluate outcomes. What are the different methods of data collection categories? There are two types of this. Is first is the primary method. Second is the secondary method. The primary method here is direct like observation, surveys, interview, and it can also be a focus group discussion which will only look like, it looks like a meeting only. The second, second secondary method is collecting and for like research articles, internet, library searches, and many others. 
Now, here's another question. What is not a method of data collection? This is an experiment. This is not a method of data collection. It is a procedure which can be repeated for an indefinite time. It is also known as a trial. Just like what scientists are doing or some of those who are trying to look for vaccination for COVID-19, what was affected before when SARS and Spanish flu or influenza attack in the year 1920 is not any more affected as of the moment. So there is continued experimental uh, activities done. Now, let us explore the second topic. This is after, try, after trying to collect the data of an action research, what follows is analyzing the data of the action research. Data may be presented in three methods for action research. One is by textual. Number two, it can be tabular. And the third can be graphical. First is textual. Textual. This is presented in paragraph form. They are written and read. So there is only three words written in paragraph form. So you are trying to describe only the result. Second is tabular. By the word itself, we present, we present tables. Out of the tables, there would be presentation or title as to what is the content of the tables as a result. Then after presenting the title of the table, you describe what are the details inside the table and then it can it can never be only one table that it there is a minimum of i think five to seven tables in an action research the last type of data analysis is graphical graphical is presented in graphs this can be sometimes in a form of, of a line graph a bar graph a pie graph usually bar graphs will represent colors in every bar. So if there are three variables or three items in study, there will be three colors to represent one variable from the other. For quantitative data analysis, this is numerical comparison only, which can be used the SPSS, a uh, uh, statistical package that is found in computers. This is what we call as descriptive statistics for quantitative because they are numerical comparisons or presentations only showing numbers as to how many, how many there are in the description. Number two, qualitative data. This is otherwise called inferential application of statistics. Inference is an unintelligence, intelli intelligent guess. These inferential statistics are used if there is a need of more time, need of more time for analyzing. Usually, in the in a computer, we can use Excel. These are the statistical software that we are using aside from the SPSS. And this inferential statistics. We look for the correlation between one variable to the other. Now, number three is mixed data analysis. By the word itself, mixed, there is already a combination of the first and the second. So a mixture of the quantitative and the qualitative data analysis. We always think about what type of analysis we should do. After collecting the data, there should be intelligent decision as to what really fit well, or what will really fit the study, what would be the formulas to be used, and what would be the infer inferential statistics formulas that will be used also. 
example of inferential statistical from formulas is use of the chi-square test and the t-test and many others. The references that I am using in these topics are from Combs et al. of 2014, Edu Educational Development and Theories of Education. Second is surreal in the year 2015 entitled Psychology of Action Researches. And the last is Dr. Katina Grecoraskos, a doctor in human and organizational psychology in a European international university. So that is all for today and for this video. Thank you for watching. More videos are coming on our topic about how to make an action research. I would appreciate your thumbs up and even your thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button. And I will truly appreciate all your feedbacks and comments. See you next time. Stay safe. God bless us all.